welcome back all in this session we are going to discuss three fundamental and basic things in shell scripting the very first thing is the variable substitution and command substitution in a statement then after i will talk about the input and output redirection and then we will be talking about why okay so let's begin with the very first thing there are different types of quotes the symbols like double quote or you can say single quote or backtick environment these three types of quotes are there in linux so let's say if i declare a variable i is equal to 10 and j is equal to let's say 20 these two variables i have declared now i am printing that so if i use double quote and i use let's say dollar i and if i hit enter the value of variable will be substituted within the double quote environment right so this concept we consider variable substitution right but in some of the cases we want to substitute the output of a command so let's say if i want to print in double quote environment so i'm saying today's date is and if i want to display the output of date command here then in that case we can use backtick environment so let's say i use date and then i can put let's say double quote so instead of this date which i have written date is a command in backtick environment the output of this command will replace this particular place so when i run it it displays today's date is and this is the thing which has been generated by the date command in us so this we consider as command substitution right so in double quote environment you can do variable substitution and if you want to replace the command or some text with the command output we need to use backtick in now what is the role of single quotes environment if you want to display something like uh, if i want to display the dollar i i can use single quote and inside the single quote whatever i write let's say i write dollar i whatever i write exactly it will display that thing it will not replace anything so if i write here in the single quote let's say date or cal command although this is a command but it will display exactly the same if i also want to display any of the meta character so let's say if i want to print star star is a meta character star will display the name of all the files and directories in the present working directory so usually we cannot print the star but if you want to write a star you can use single quote environment and it will display star right so i hope now you are clear about the use of double quote backtick and single quote environment right so as an when you require these three you can use them now the next thing is redirection the redirection is very very important concept in shell scripting so there are two three types of redirections the very first redirection we consider as input redirection when we start the system there are three you can say input output streams or the file descriptors by default will be opened inside the system so the very first stream is numbered as zero that we consider input stream so i'm saying input stream that is numbered as zero then the next stream is output stream that is numbered as one and then standard error standard error stream is also there that is represented by two so there are three streams in the systems 
by default these file descriptors or streams are open or you can say signals right now we can redirect this what is the meaning of redirection any command if a command is expecting any input the command expect the input from the input stream input stream generally represent the keyboard so let's say if i take cat command the cat command the default behavior of cat is it takes something as input and it displays on the screen right so if i hit enter without mentioning anything the cat command will hold my prompt okay so now i don't have the prompt the dollar prompt earlier i was working on dollar prompt now whatever i will type let's say if i type hello everyone i will get back the same content which i have typed as it if i type hi it will display the same thing so what is happening the cat actually it is taking the data from input stream that is file descriptor zero and it is by default sending that particular data to output stream that is your screen or monitor so it is taking from keyboard and displaying on monitor taking from keyboard displaying on monitor so whatever you type let's say one two three four it will again display the one two three now generally we don't want this sometimes we want to take the input from keyboard but the output we don't want to display on the screen we want to save in a file or we don't want to take the input from the keyboard but we want to display the output on the screen or neither we want to take the input from the keyboard nor we want to display the generated output on the screen so all these things we can do by redirecting the input and output so how we can redirect now let's say i'm having a file so let me create a file let's say i'm using touch and i'm creating a sample file let's say. so sample.txt i'm creating now in this file i want to write some of the data so if i type echo hello this is a sample file okay named as sample.txt okay so this is now this thing by default if i hit enter echo command is having the default behavior to display on the screen but i don't want to display on the screen so i will use greater than sign this greater than sign we use to redirect the output terminal so earlier the output was your file descriptor 2 or you can say file stream 2 not 2 it is 1 output stream is 1 2 stream is for error right so by default if i hit enter this message will be displaying on the screen but i don't want to print this message on the screen i want to save in a file and that file is let's say sample.txt so i use greater than sign to redirect i use sample.txt and i hit enter this time the message will not display on the screen but it will be saved in the file you see there is no message but if you check with the help of cat and in cat let's say you want to take input from a file you can use less than sign less than means you are redirecting your input the default input is keyboard now this time i am redirecting the input as sample file sample.txt so this cat command is not taking input from keyboard now this is reading this sample.txt as input because I am using this less than sign. Now you can see this file is containing this particular data which I have saved by putting this particular greater than sign or you can say output redirection. Right? So this is the input and output redirection. Now what is error redirection? Error is also one of the stream which is represented with the numeric value 2. So let's say if I type something of uh, any 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 command or any anything which does not exist in the system, it generates some error. So in system there are a number of types of error can be generated. And by default error are being displayed on the screen. So if we don't want to display on the screen. Let's say I want to save the error in our specific file. 
like dev slash null there is a specific file you can say universal collector or garbage collector that is available in root directory inside dev and null this is a one particular file in linux we consider this is dustbin universal garbage collector kind of thing so if i run ls hyphen l you can see this file is existing dev slash null so whatever we have if it is extra or something you want to put this is the particular file where you can put your garbage while you are programming okay so let's say i'm running something which is not the thing there will be error so when i'm running it there will be error definitely so this error i want to redirect to the file let's say dev slash null or you can say any other file i'm using some other file let's say so i'm generating a file named as error dot txt okay now i'm typing something where error is going to come i am redirecting and i want to save the error so this time i am not redirecting standard output i want to redirect standard error so i am putting two here two means standard error and this greater than sign means redirection and i want to store in error file now if i hit enter the error will not be displaying on the screen okay now if you check the content of this error.txt the error is saved here so if you write the number 2 and then greater than sign that means you are redirecting your error and saving inside a file okay now if you do something like this let's say i create another file using touch error only if you check the content of this error file there is nothing it is blank now now if i type some erroneous thing and i just redirect i don't put that to and i write error file now the error is displaying on this screen whether this error will be saved in this error file or not let's check it so if i do get error there is no no data has been saved in this because this was not the output whatever is displaying this was the error and this greater than sign by default redirect the output it does not redirect the error so if you want to specifically redirect the error you need to write two greater than sign right so when i'm having some erroneous thing i want to redirect my error then i put two greater than sign and then whatever the file where i want to store it and now if you check by cat this error you display the error is saved so i hope with this you must be clear about the fundamental of input redirection output redirection and error redirection now the one small thing is also let's discuss that is pipe so what is pipe actually pipe is the mean of establishing the communication between two processes or you can say commands now let's say there is a command one command one generates some output and that output we want to pass to a next command as input so in that case you can put this symbol this symbol this is the pipe symbol okay in c we consider it as bitwise or symbol right so this symbol we use as a pipe symbol in linux and let's say there is another command so command 2 this means that i want to run a command here and whatever the output this command one will generate i want to pass the output of command one as input to the command two. right so let's take an example if i run ls ls will generate some of the things in terms of characters or strings if i want to count it there is a command called wc command wc command is word count command wc it counts the number of characters words and lines so if i hit enter it will not display me the output of ls it will display me the final count of how many number of how many number of lines how many number of words and how many number of characters are there okay so if i don't do like if i type ls this is displaying this thing and in this output the wc is counting directly when i am typing this particular command 
how many number of lines are there how many number of words are there and how many number of characters are there right so if you have any other command let's say you are, if you are having cal command cal command displays the calendar right so if this cal command i want to pass to some other command whatever the input is coming let's say wc or whatever you want to display it will display how many number of lines and other things you can pass to some other command also like if this cal input you want to pass or redirect to some command you can use the pipe symbol okay so pipe is one of the mean or the symbol which can connect the output of one command to the input of another command. but that is our responsibility to write proper command where the interconnection of this the data exchange is required if we write irrelevant command then the pipe will be meaningless there can be n number of things so we can write like multiple commands so let's say command one and you can put pipe then command two then you can again pipe you can type let's say command three so you can pipe a number of commands in a single go it is not necessary that only two commands and you can use a single pipe symbol there can be multiple commands if you have some task to perform in a single go and the output of very first command you want to pass as input to another command let's say command 2 and whatever the output will be generated by command 2 you want to pass as input to command 3 then you can put multiple pipe symbols right so i hope this video will help you to understand the substitution of variables within double quote it will also help you to understand the substitution of command within backtick and mom and backtick and if you do not want to substitute anything no substitution behavior you want you want to display the things as it is you can use single quote in the next thing we have discussed the redirection so there are three types of redirection generally we use input redirection in which we use less than sign input redirection less than sign output redirection greater than sign and error redirection we put two and greater than sign so we can redirect the error the third thing we have talked about the pipe so we can use the pipe to exchange the data from one command to another okay so this is sufficient for this session thank you see you in the next class